I'm so afraid to talk about it, people. Hey guys, welcome to Songwriter Diaries and it's this new series that I'm doing to be able to take you through my journey of writing all my songs in my second album. Hashtag re second album, title yet to be announced. Through this video series, I'm gonna take you through the process of writing a song from inception to figuring out the melodies and lyrics to recording up to the point where I'm ready to release the actual song. So I hope that this gives you a bit of insight as to how I write, how my process is, and at least how I give birth to each song. So I want to talk about my song called Tenderfoot. And Tenderfoot, I always say, is a very personal song for me. And I wrote it because I needed to hear it. If you listen to the lyrics, it is about body image and acceptance and giving value back to yourself, knowing your worth, knowing that you are worth listening to, knowing that all your problems, big or small, they matter and you need to attend to them. In the first verse, I give importance to body image and I talk a lot about my own issues with weight and with how I look, feeling like I'm the only one who probably thinks this way about myself and also feeling like everybody thinks this way about me. Personally, I think my arms are big and my thighs are big and people make comments about how much I've gained weight over the years. And even in my own family, I can't escape it. Like whenever we see each other, they would be like, Oi, tumaba ka, aka, hey, you've grown fatter. You're fatter. <laughs> and I always get annoyed because why do you have to say that. One day, I just wanted to be productive and I went to my music room, I got my guitar, my old nylon classical guitar because that was the only guitar that was out in the stand and I started playing. I came up with these normal go-to chords that I have. I think the melody directed the intent of the song. I didn't really go like, today I'm gonna write a song about my body struggles. It just kind of flowed out that way. So far, that's what I have. <sighs> In Boy Scouts of America, I believe Tenderfoot is the very first rank meaning you're a rookie you're a novice and i think that i encountered this term or word when i was reading a book and i immediately took note of it and remembered it i remember falling in love with the way the word sounded knowing that tenderfoot means a beginner for me we are all beginners at loving ourselves we can be our toughest critics we can be so hard on ourselves especially and even if we're trying our very best and it's just sad to see how we put ourselves down. I feel like we all need that constant reminder to be kinder to ourselves, to treat ourselves better, to listen to our needs, our need to be loved and nurtured, not just by people around us, but by our own selves. And we're always a beginner at that. We're always starting over. We're always relearning that lesson. And that, for me, is the meaning of Tenderfoot and why I named the song so. 
all right so you know how i've been struggling to write a song or to finish a good song these days i've been really milking it with the existing material that i have and i just can't get the stuff right but today i worked on this is a song that i've had since march i completely changed the chorus i completely changed the pre-chorus i'm still not 100 sold on it but it is getting there i feel like it's 85 percent there and then after that i finished writing another song i went inside i got my guitar because i've been working with a piano for and i finished a song in one sitting it's a song called body tentatively it's called body it's kind of inspired by an old song that i did called ghost in my body which is also about about body image but this one is a bit more um positive i think yeah i finished another song and i'm so happy my fingers hurt so much i don't know if you can see my um galu. but yeah um i feel so fulfilled that i finished a song two songs in one day so it's been a good friday for me i'm so happy I wrote this song June 8, 2018 and I finished it in one sitting and I first decided to play the song live in a in a big concert called Carpos Live and nobody has ever really heard the song except for me until that point and I remember people asking me about it after what song was that if they could get a copy of it because it's something that they needed to hear at that moment and that really struck me that a song could be that powerful so i decided to email the demo track to some people who asked for it because i know that if it's something that they need to hear and they need to hear over and over again even if it's an unreleased song i would love to be able to to kind of ease their their worries and their anxieties through that and soon after i wrote that song maybe about like a month after i wanted to get into the studio immediately and record it i went to the studio and i got my usual engineer Danny Boy slash Dags slash Daniel Garcia. We were trying to figure out a good tempo for it and I was just feeling it out. I was strumming it and we settled on a good BPM or so I thought. Sorry? Yeah, no. Ah, yun yung ginagamit kapag gumagawa ako ng scores. No drums and all. separate yung ano eh. Siyempre, if you're just playing the guitar, you're too focused on the guitar. So, mm -hmm. nawawala yung... Yun nga eh, yun nga eh. Exactly. Yung pagkasabay nung vocal. Ang ganda nito, man. God damn! God damn! Diba yan yung EP, ano eh? EP feels? Yeah. Tsaka yung, yung boses mo, parang tumatanda na. Yeah! Ay, matanda na dyan! I mean, nag-iiba na yung timbre. Talaga? Uh, I mean, 
been a while din since ganun, ganun, ganun pa rin, pero parang it's there's wisdom magkaka wisdom na yun and gusto ko din talaga yung parang basta nag- super personal din ng song eh so mm-hmm. I really mm-hmm. like the the message of it yeah and when people come up to me pag naririnig kasi natuto ko na ito live parang, ah okay ayun eh ang dami kasing ganyan ang daming kids na ganito yung issues nila or parang you know they feel like yeah yeah of course they're not ano their problems are small but mm-hmm. they're not So we recorded the entire thing, we finished it, we did harmony for a long while. I didn't really record anything else and we left it. That was it for a while. It was only September of last year, 2019, where I revisited the song again through a pre-production session that I had with my co-producer and guitarist, Josh Villena. I made him hear that first recording that we did and figured out that it was way too fast. This is the tender foot pala. Ito, parang, ito yung demo yun eh. Pero gusto kong lagyan ng something eh. Parang, horn sa huli or something. Parang, hindi ko alam kung mabili siya masyado for the drama of it. Parang bilis eh, diba? Diba? Pwede ba gano'n ako? Pwede record ko ulit. Kit nga ng horn, no? Isa lang siya? No. Ay, pa siya nagmamadali eh. Dati okay naman eh. Pero ang tagal ko na rin kasi doon na-record. So, iisip ko. Or instrument na keyboard pero piniipan. Ah, oh, may melo- melody ka? Meron ako na. Doon part na. Pero ganda na nga. You know? It was way too fast for what I wanted Tenderfoot to be, for the feel that I wanted to convey. It's a very soft song, and the nurture aspect of it needs to come out through the cadence of the song, through the flow, through the tempo. And I was way off with my estimation back then. So I had to re record the entire thing. Record, re-record Tenderfoot after two years. Oh. Two years. Dang. <coughs> Your headphones are not there. Thank you. Ano yung naging tempo natin? 157, okay. So each day I'll try. <laughs> Weird yung signal sa headphones ko. Para siyang... Nawawala. Mm-mm. Para siyang magana. But if... Pwede akong pahina ng headphone monitors ko sa live sa guitar. Ganda ng mic. Grabe ang linaw niya. Masyad siyang malinaw na parang re- ayoko nang huminga. <laughs> I look at photographs of myself and I insist there's nothing wrong. But if there isn't Why am I right in this song? I'm Jamie, my lifesaver. I was so, so, so hungry and the chili. Wow. <laughs> We have our savior. <laughs> <laughs> every time, talaga, every time that we're recording, ito talaga. Alam mo, this can't be good for my health, but eh, whatever. Basta eat your own. Minsan lang naman eh, guys. It's okay. Guys, I had such a difficult time recording the guitar. Like, it took an exceptionally long time because the metronome na yan with this song, it's different to express it ng guitar lang without the vocals. I feel weird about it. Parang ni bago ako. 
So, yun. Tapos yung tempo, hinanap namin. Kanina, 1.56. Mali. Dami namin ni-record. Tapos, nag-try kami yung 1.58. So, mas comfortable pala sa akin yun. So, yan na namin pagsubok sa kantan to. I actually struggled with doing the guitar because I have been performing Tenderfoot for a good two years now since I first wrote it and I kind of gotten used to having my guitar be dictated by my vocal performance and how I do it simultaneously when I'm doing it live. It became a bit difficult for me to isolate just my guitar playing and listen to the metronome and keep the time but also reminding myself of what the guitar playing should feel like. I took longer than expected for a song that's so simple and something that I know by heart already but I'm glad that I did retake the, the guitar track because the tempo ended up being perfect for what I envisioned Tenderfoot to sound like. I knew that I wanted to differentiate Tenderfoot and how it is being played live to what it would sound like on the record eventually. I wanted to add a lot of weight towards the end of it and make it fly and make it soar. We thought of adding textures, something that's a bit heavy that could kind of gather all the harmonies together and lift it up. Eventually we came up with a melodica which is something that I already had and I used to use before. I decided to bring this song to my good friend April aka the sun manager in area 25. She decided to incorporate a lot of soft piano into the track and then added some pads and build ups and we did two sessions. I went to her house twice and we kind of fleshed out the placements and the notes that had to be there and what was left was the final track. softer pa ata, no? No, I mean like with no choices kasi I have a whole chord that's just... Kasi ako kasi yung umakit eh. Oh. Ang pressure ko doon sa buong thing na yun, feeling ko lang away siya doon sa strumming. So either mo makawala yung guitar or susunod ah. natin. Kasi diba? Oh, dung dang, da 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 dung dang. Tapos yung piano. Ding! magkaiba sila ng feel pag nagsabay. What nagsabay. gawin natin apes na parang doon yung keys pa rin. Hmm. Pero mas sabay lang siya sa bagsaka ng bass. Okay yung bass. Can we isolate with the piano? The high piano. This is okay. Baka yung mga ganun. What if gawin natin na ano parang parang boom. Yung gitara mo chin cha chika cha pero yung bass parang mas ano lang siya. Boom. 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 Kasi ngayon, mas ano pa siya, dum 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 So, may sarili din siya eh. This song? Hmm, this song. Lapit na. Big factor dito pag nag, ano ka, 
I always say that I wrote the song for myself and that's the truth but I also wrote the song for a lot of my listeners who I meet after gigs or during gigs and who tell me about their own struggles with their mental health and their own bodies. I have heard way too many stories about um, being very very sad beyond rescue and wanting to just disappear and wanting to just end it all and I always feel the weight of it and I never know what to say but I just really wanted to offer something that would be like a warm embrace to people who might be going through the same things in different degrees in different intensities and now that I've released the song I'm so happy that people have been speaking up about how they feel about their own selves they might not feel as confident but they're learning every day to embrace themselves because they're beautifully made and it's so inspiring to to hear that and to know that one song has helped them kind of realize all of that i'm really glad i'm really thankful that i opened myself up to be able to write tenderfoot because i know that it helped me a lot and it continues to help me a lot it makes me realize what i have and what i can do and my body is strong my body is capable of doing great things creating many beautiful things that could help affect positive change no matter how small or big and i honor that and i would never want to forget that so i'm happy